All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory, and respect due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and sincerity, to the confusion of faith that are waking up, and to the few sisters listening and learning. All right, my name is Yasharala, Great Millstone, Chicago. And uh, I want to do a video uh, pertaining to what Apostle Gabar had said in uh, one of the videos he did recently. All right. And I'm going to just let him speak upon it. And then I'm going to, uh, Lord willing, jump in the spirit. And it's an uh, edifying lesson. And uh, I just want to say, um, you brothers that, um, like, case in point, this brother here. You know, you, you uh, that keep calling us uh, black Hebrew Israelites. Would you call this brother black? Huh? Would you call him black? And it was a thought that came to me which I think would be a good move spiritually to make among all the brothers in GMS all over the world. You brothers that look, in particular, that look like Esau Edom, but of course you Hebrew Israelites, I'm just saying you look like Esau Edom, you should do a video asking the ones that call us black Hebrew Israelites, asking them, am I black? And then bring out the scriptures that show that you will have Israelites looking like the different nations, even looking like Edomites. You know, it'd be, it'd be a nice move to make, you know, because they're, this, this thing of ours is like chess, right? They're making the move calling us black Hebrews, right, trying to demonize us. Well, you brothers that don't look like so-called blacks, quote unquote, you should do a video asking them, what would you call me? Would you call me a black Hebrew, right? Like this brother here, which is, I believe to be a man of the Lord. You know, he's, he's out there, he's teaching the word, he's all in the spirit. Let's say he does a video saying to the ones that call us black Hebrew Israelites, would you call me black? It would be a nice touch, you know, that's all I'm saying. And may the Holy Spirit jump on you brothers to do those videos, you know. You know, you brothers all across the world that look like Esau, you know, yeah, do a video, just, just, to, just to mess with them, you know. Just to, just to confound them, that's the word. Just to confound them. Because they like to call us black Hebrew Israelites. Anyway, that was just a thought. Con, and um, so with that, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to entitle this video, Am I a Black Hebrew Israelite? Because clearly, for one, we're not black. We're different shades of brown. Okay? So according to my skin color, would I be considered a quote-unquote black Hebrew Israelite. All right? So I'm going to just jump into a few scriptures, Lord willing, it's edifying. We're going to start in the book of Ezra 9. We're going to start at the top. Now, when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying the people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the land doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hivites, the Parasites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yea, the hand of the princes and the ruler rulers and have been chief in this trespass all right so here it is it's saying that the uh the children of israel mingled themselves all right <clears throat> with the people of those lands all right and when you do that you have offsprings all right and then another uh point here it says the princes and the rulers have been it says have been uh chief in this uh I'm doing something right now. Salakia. <clears throat> the point, the princes and rulers have been chief in this trespass. Like the scripture says, um, as the king saw his officers, roughly paraphrasing. So, you know, A, our, our princes, etc. were doing that as well. So the people will follow behind. So we were mingling ourselves amongst all the, uh, these other nations. 
and I'm gonna jump to the point. Let me see. I'm gonna start at uh, nine and six. It says, and and said, "Oh my power, Yahweh, I am ashamed and blush to lift up my face to thee, my power, for our iniquities are increased over our head, and our trespass is grown up into heavens." So here it is. Ezra was ashamed that of of, of what we had done as a nation. All right. And it says, since the days of our father have have we been in a great trespass unto this day. And for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the hands of the kings of the land, to the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil, and to confusion of face, as it is this day. Alright. And yes, we know we can go into the word confusion. Because, you know, we're going to have some scoffers saying it doesn't mean... Wait, so lucky I went in the wrong word. We're going to have some some scoffers talk about that's not what uh, confusion means. And uh, it goes into shame, shameful thing. All right. And um, so, you know, it, it is a shame for us, you know, to um, not only um, look like these other nations... Okay, but um, but um, you know, for for um, us as a people, you know, to have done a great trespass against the Lord, like Ezra, you know, when you read up here, he said that he is ashamed to even look up uh, his face unto the heavenly Father. All right, for the trespass we have done, but then again, it is also a shame. For us to look like the other nations, okay? Because we are our royal people. So, when you have a child, okay, with uh, with another nation, say uh, a so-called uh, Negro has a child with a with a so-called uh, white woman, you know, that child is going to come out looking. Um, uh, not a hundred percent like his father. He's gonna look like his mother somewhat. Might come out straight up white that first go round, or might come out a little bit lighter, you know. And then throughout the generations of mingling with that nation, you know, you're gonna uh, lose. You're gonna lose your uh, true identity. All right. Even though that child from the father is gonna be a Israelite through the lineage, but in time that child will look like the other nation okay just like in um let's get it in numbers all right i believe it's numbers 12. let's see okay so this is when uh Aaron and uh, Miriam was backbiting against Moses. So let's just get to the point. Numbers 12 and 10. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. So the, the Heavenly Father took away Miriam's, uh, her pigmentation, her skin color. All right, he took it. He took her skin color away and made her leprous. All right, which is what a so-called Edomite is. All right, no pigmentation. Okay, he took away her color and made her look like an Edomite, a so-called white person. All right, so she was leprous. <clears throat> and if you keep on reading, it says, "And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my lord." I beseech thee, lay not this sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned. All right, because they were coming up against Moses. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he cometh out of her mother's womb. All right, so he said basically, don't let her look like these Edomites, you know? And it says, and... um and Moses cried unto Yahweh, saying, 
heal her now, O Yahweh, I beseech thee. So even Moses, you know, uh, asked the Heavenly Father to give her back her skin color. But this is what the Heavenly Father said. And Yahweh said unto Moses, if her father had spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out of the camp seven days, and after that, let her be received again. So, a just like a female will be ashamed, uh, will be ashamed if her father has spat in her face, you know, a let her be outside the camp, but let her be ashamed. All right, so it's a shame to look like these other nations. This is a. Uh, Daniel's 9 and 7, O Yahweh, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces as at this day, to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. All right, so, A, hey, we we're going to look ashamed. All right, um, the, the men of Judah, which would be considered your, uh, your uh, southern kingdom, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the rest of the tribes. And unto all Israel that are near and that are far off through all their countries, whether thou hast driven them because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. All right, so we were driven, okay, um, throughout all the countries. So if we're scattered abroad, okay, the female of them other nations, hey, that's who we're going to um, end up having offsprings with. All right, and, and through time... Through the lineage of the father, okay, with whether what nation you're dealing with, you're gonna look like that nation, okay. This is Deuteronomy. I'm gonna start. Up, I'm gonna read a verse fifteen. Deuteronomy twenty-eight and fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay, so A, as a nation, you know, we, we, we were cursed because we didn't obey the Heavenly Father. And this was one of the curses. Deuteronomy 28 and 64, And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods um which neither that which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone all right but the point is you know since we transgressed he said he he said that he was going to scatter us among all people from one end of the earth even into the other. So what does that let you know? That lets you know we're uh, basically scattered abroad the whole world. North, south, east, west. Okay? We're scattered amongst all nations. And like I said earlier, uh, through the lineage of the Father, okay, um, having offspring amongst the other nations in due time we're gonna look like those other nations all right we're gonna lose our identity hey that's what happened to us okay um jeremiah 17 and 4 we discontinued from our heritage okay and that's a shame that's the confusion okay it's a shame for us you know to um have trespass against the Heavenly Father, okay, and for him to scatter us and for us to look like all these nations. Okay, so this is uh, one more I got. This is James 1 and 1. James is servant of Yahweh, power, and of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. Okay, so, hey, with that being said and done, we were scattered we mingled amongst the other nations. We're going to look like the other nations, okay? And, um, right. So, would that make, even though through, the, through the, the lineage of our fathers, let me get one more. We know that we are the Hebrew Israelites, okay? 
So would that make me a, a am I a black Hebrew Israelite? Okay. This is Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. Okay, so the spirit bears witness that we are the children. Okay? We are the children of the Heavenly Father. How do we know that? Through our spirit. Okay, you could tell when somebody um, is a heathen and when somebody's an Israelite based off of their spirit. Okay? Somebody uh, like this brother, he could look like an Edomite, but through his spirit, we know that this man is an Israelite. Brother Nadazaki, I know him personally. Spent time with him, hung out, talked with him on the battlefield. All right, I know this man personally, and through the Spirit, I know that he is an Israelite. Just like through the Spirit, I know that I am an Israelite. Okay, because uh, if you read what, what is that, Malachi 1, you go down, uh, it says um, Malachi 1 and 14. But be, but, but cursed be the deceiver which hath in his flock a male and voweth and sacrificed unto Yahweh a corrupt thing, for I am the great king. This is the point. Saith Yahweh of hosts, and, uh, right here, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. Alright, so A, if we were in Israelites, we wouldn't be able to call on the name of the Heavenly Father. We wouldn't be able to call on Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because that name is dreadful among the heathen. That's why you got those fake Jewish people. They can't even say the name. They say Shem. They say Shem. They don't say the name of the Heavenly Father. Why? Because it's dreadful among the heathen. So us brothers that are confusing the faces, looking like the other nations, if we were not Israelites, we wouldn't be able to call on the Heavenly Father. All right. So with that being said and done, to you uh, scoffers, you know, to you people writing articles, to you black only Israelites, am I a black Hebrew Israelite? Okay. And the answer is, I am a Hebrew Israelite through the lineage of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, and I don't have as much pigment as the other brothers, but I'm, I'm extremely light brown. Okay, does that make me a black Hebrew Israelite? My shirt is black. <laughs> okay, so with that, whoever's meant to be edified, I hope you were. Till next time, all praises, honor, glory, and respect due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Dash. That will honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his word and truth and sincerity. To the confusion of face that are waking up. And to the few sisters that are listening and learning. Until next time, Shalom.